Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate, though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here, and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. What about Vernon Roach? Why didn't you let him in? Roach? Know the aura that surrounds him? Men like him act first and think later. And when they act, almost inevitably innocent blood flows. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorised by the elven bandits for years now. There was a time those forests belonged to the elves. To them, humans are bandits. Spare me your sympathy. The elder races, the elder language, plow it all! Today they torch human settlements, they poison our wells, and they murder us along the highways. You fail to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a Scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favourable at the elf who sells your wife coloured kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. You detest non-humans. I detest Yorveth, the coward who hunts the innocent instead of facing soldiers. I detest that horse son who murders women and children while claiming that he fights for freedom. He's a monster, Geralt. He's the evil I protect people from. And anyone who helps a monster becomes a similar monster to my mind. Enough. I get it. I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as your vet remains free, humans, elves and dwarfs will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them.
Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Kairan has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Kairan and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously. Straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Now you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell.